Joined now by Scott Allegrini with the Children of Liberty. Might be an organization people don't know about. Give us an overview of what the Children of Liberty are all about. Well, the Children of Liberty is a citizen group uh, just made up of local citizens, common people, that uh, we educate ourselves on what the Founding Fathers uh, wrote and the Constitution they gave us, along with the Declaration of Independence, and, um, you know, common sense government. Common sense government. Yep. It seems like something that, that's your key. Why do you think that's so important? Well, because things have gotten too complex now. Um, you know, we have too many experts telling us that we need to do this now and do that now, and we can't, don't have time to read bills that are 1,200 pages long. So, um, you know, it seems that we've lost our common sense and we've replaced it with a bunch of uh, bills no one reads and uh, uh, government that has to go on a fast pace. Mm -hmm. Do you think government's gotten too big, or do you think that people are forgetting about the fundamentals? Um, I, I, I personally believe government is uh, is gotten too big. It's uh, it was meant to be government that's close to the people. You know, the states have uh, the most of the rights in the constitution, and it's kind of turned all, on its head. Mm -hmm. So, is this? Get, do you feel like their message is getting to not only Columbus but getting to Washington? That there are people on a local level that say, "Hey, it's time to change things." Absolutely. I mean, that's all politics is local. You know, that's uh, the old cliche, and and you have to act locally to make effects. Uh, statewide and national. Um, you know, we have to make uh, changes, whether it's locally with uh, Ms. Captor or, you know, state level. Um, you know, those are where we have to make the changes. Now, you talk about it all being local, but it seems like you almost feel like that Washington isn't listening to the local people. Do you feel like that they're listening to everything that not only you say, but everybody says? Uh, no, that's most of our members feel that uh, they're disenfranchised with, with politics in general, especially at the uh, Washington level, um, you know, whether it's Democrats or Republicans, we all feel that they're not listening to us. Um, so what, what can you do? I mean, what, what can you get somebody in Washington to do to listen to you? Well, we, we go, we call, uh, call uh, our, our representatives, whether it's Marcy or uh, Bob Latta, call them, let us know, let them know how we feel. Um, we write letters, we put uh, editorials into newspapers, just, uh, you know, how we feel. Um, we need to be heard and uh, we need to make sure that they hear us. Mm -hmm. so, um, so tell me about some of the events you have coming up. I, I know health care is probably something we're going to be talking about sure, for many more sure. months to come. Um, we, we just finished up the health care. Um, we're going to be having candidate forums on uh, the 3rd and 4th of, the, of August. Okay. And we're going to be having local candidates are going to come in and uh, just talk about uh, why they're running, their platforms, and then we'll have open questions. Are we talking uh, about Toledo races? Yes. Toledo. Okay. So yes. Ma mayoral, council, mayoral council, like council, absolutely. Okay. Um, those will be at the Sylvania Library um, at 6:30. Okay. So when you look at candidates on a local level, what kind of things would you like to see from local people as opposed to national ones? Uh, local people, it's it's the same concept. It's it's smaller government. It's less intrusive, less uh, taxes more pro-business, um, you know, uh, taking the burden off the small businessman so that uh, Toledo and the Northwest Ohio can prosper. So trying to take a little bit of government out of government. Absolutely. It's safe to say. Common Absolutely. sense government. Absolutely. That's the phrase, right? Yep. Scott Allegrini, thank you very much right. for your time with the Children of Liberty. And that is tonight's Talk Back.